Hello everybody. Goose Janssen pointed me to a 3ds Max tutorial from a 3D artist named Ben Tate where he modeled a fire hydrant. I didn't watch that tutorial because it usually influences my workflow. I'd rather make uh, one with my own workflow. Since there are so many different types of hydrants, I thought I make yet another one from the top of my head and uh, hope to include all the style elements which you find in uh, many or most of these hydrants. So let's do that. I switch to Modo. I have already prepared a cylinder with a radius of 200 millimeters and a height of 600 millimeters and 24 sides. Okay, now first I want to copy this. Control copy, Control V. E key and control rotate it 90 degrees and then uh, I select this again control copy control V E key and control rotate it around the Y by 90 degrees also. I want to have the big tube in the front view. This is the one so these are the side tubes, so I move that out of the way for the time being and resize it by two, uh, two thirds of the other size, like so. Good. Now I go back to perspective mode and first I need to move this away and I take this control copy control V W key by the way if this does not work with your uh, modo then it's because of a system setting it's uh, in the preferences it's in the mesh item defaults and the default are these two are not ticked and then you cannot copy just a polygon. Then you have to uh, control exit first and then Weltemer. But it's really a time saver when you select these two options here. This is just uh, another information. Okay, so I bevel this and bevel it in about quite a lot, 50 millimeters, and delete the middle part. Then I take this, control X, N for a new mesh, control V, W key, and turn on mesh, constraint to background, and put this on here, like so. Then go back to the original mesh, turn off background constraint, then W key and move this to about here and then in the right view I press X to activate snapping, default is snap to vertex, then shift C and come through, uh, cut through here, shift click, no, from here to here, and just make sure we have everything like so. Now I can delete the complete middle set. Now I can uh, select these edges here, R key, bring them down to zero, Go to Vertex, Merge, Automatic, OK, 11, 11, OK, 11, have merged. 
Now I can go back to my mesh tool, control X this and control V and we must flip this. So select it and F to flip. Now I can go to vertex, merge, automatic will probably work, but let's make it fixed. 24 have merged, that's good. Now in front view, I delete the right, uh, this half here. And as you can see, with this technique, you get a surface which is far away from being uh, good, but this can easily be fixed. So let's do it. C key, and then I cut through here. Shift click, cut through here. And now we can select these vertices. So one, two, three, four, five with the up key, then vertex, align, uniform, okay. And do the same here. One, two, one more, align. And now this is fixed, you know, this is now perfect. Let's see if uh, symmetry works, snapping off. I want to go symmetry along around Y. Then I can, how about it must be turned on. Yes, works, backspace, delete. Then I add in a single edge in here. C key again, cut the edge through here, then single edge again, here, C key again, from here to here, and this is good. Okay, now we do the same with uh, the top piece. Um, I could easily do it uh, on the same height, but I think it looks a bit more interesting when it is uh, W. Okay, now I um, control copy, control V, W key, move this to about here and maybe a bit down like so. I can delete this one and control X, go to the empty mesh, control V, enable, constraint to background again and W key and bring this to here. Is that good? No, 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 that's not good. Control Z. First, I need to bevel this bevel. Maybe 10 millimeters. And delete the middle part so that only this ring is left. Now again, W and that looks a lot better. Control X. Go to the original mesh. Control V. And let's see from the side view here. I think I bring this one down a bit more to here. Maybe even more to here. Yes. Then Shift C, Control, Cut through here. And then I can delete one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's wrong. No more symmetry. One, two, three, four, five, six, and delete. Ah, that's flipped. Let's hide this F to flip, U for unhide. And we don't need so many edges in here. I will delete every second. Backspace delete. Now we can connect these together to up arrow key 
bridge and do the same down here one two and bridge and now we need three edges in here old c count of three uniform w bring this up to about here do the same here w key bring this down and now we can connect these bridge and bridge and now in the front view um, we can delete the top and the bottom polygons here delete and now I can go duplicate mirror over X apply see if everything has merged yes looks good and now we can form these uh, outlets this is the main one the big one so Z key bring this out quite a lot we can always adjust the proportions later press the P key put in the polygon then I select this polygon B for bevel bevel it in mm, yeah 40 millimeters and then I cut shift C control cut through here make a straight cut then I can use from now on the add single edge how does it look from a proportions point of view maybe I make this a bit smaller W bring it to here okay now I start selecting this polygon then this one up arrow key this one and this one up arrow key and this one and this one up arrow key and this one and this one up arrow key now we can bevel this on the blue handle bevel it in a bit shift click and on the red handle make a lip around it like so yes we are that's the wrong one uh, next I bevel this one just a little and add in this edge bevel this edge with a round level of 2 or higher and make sure we do not cross this area here now getting better what we need is to tighten these polygons so I put in uh, a single edge in here this is only so I can select one edge in here the next in here and then use the up arrow key to select all the others yes then alt c count of two and uniform let's see yeah it looks good that looks good good for me okay now i select this polygon go to work plane align work plane to selection uh, top view then delete this polygon and make a square now oh, that's way too much I make it 50 by 50 millimeters and all zero here now we need to connect this together and here we have 24 edges 
and we need 24 edges in here all c count of two symmetry make this about like so then do it again and again and again and now we have 20 so we need four more alt c count of one and once more alt c count of one in here okay and now we can just connect these together so bridge and make this middle part shift up arrow go to perspective and shift x to pull this out about 40 millimeters that's good then alt c count of two uh, uniform no 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 symmetry like so and that's good now i put in a single edge in here about here and then we can go to select it go to uh, deform radial and click in here then bevel this again with the round level of two take this middle edge w key and pull this down to make it look a bit more interesting let's reset that work plane now I add um, an edge in here alt C make it smaller like so W alt 3 to convert to polygons B for bevel, bevel this out a little like so. Now we harden these edges. So select these L key B for bevel, but now with the square shape like so. And let's see. Yes, that looks good okay now i resize this and copy it maybe i add a single edge in here and select this part control copy control v w key move it to here and put the polygon in here. This is only a temporary one because I want to use the tack tool and there you have to select polygons. So Z and bring this one out as well. R key and P put the polygon in here also and first I go to polygon spiky so I know exactly where the middle of this polygon is uh, maybe model can do this without but uh, I do it this way so anyway this is at the D form no mesh edit yes tack tool and I enable snapping to snap to this vertex here and click in the viewport and that's not bad actually I, that's probably when I adjusted it the last time anyway that's good uh, but we only have 12 edges in here and in this cap we have 24 
I think I should I should delete these temporary polygons. Thirteen. Ah, oh, yes, that's good. Delete. And now I need to get rid of half of these edges. Uh, let's do it here. Every second up arrow key. L key backspace delete. Now we must rotate this around X. Mm, no, it's not quite good. I must resize it also a little in all dimensions. So control click on here. here that's good w move it over and now rotate it e around x i said control rotate r key something is And how does it look from the top? Same problem. R key. Make it a bit smaller here. Like so. And now we rotate it again a bit. E around X. Now it looks good. Okay, I delete L, delete these polygons, and bridge these together. So we are back here. You see, we had a crash. And uh, because this really happens very seldom, I don't usually save my work, which is stupid, I know. Most of my tutorials have the name unknown. But anyway, we are back to where we were before the crash, because I put my automatic save cycle to one minute, so I don't lose a lot in the rare case this happens. So let me uh, mirror this. I select everything, shift up arrow, then duplicate mirror over X, apply. Let's see if everything has merged. Oh, we have a little problem here. Um, I hide these two, hide and delete these polygons, delete U for unhide, and now that's better. And everything has merged. Good. Now we can do the top and the bottom. And maybe uh, symmetry over X, W key, W, move this to here. Oh, this has not merged. Then let's do this differently. I select these and these and bridge. Then we can 
delete these and select this again, W, and move it in to about here. Yes. Good. To the top, I select these edges, Z key. Mm, let's see. So this is about square, like so. Shift click. No more symmetry. Now I can select these edges here and this, uh, sorry, polygons, up arrow key, the one next to the previously selected ones, then B for bevel, bevel it in, a little perspective, shift click, bevel it in like so, shift click again and bevel it in a bit more. Now I put a temporary, no, I think I put uh, a straight edge through here, shift C, and middle mouse button, shift, uh, bring this down to here, run mesh cleanup, just no problem. Then I add, I select this edge here, Alt C, count of five, mm, four, yes. And now I can select this edge and this one, up arrow key, Alt C, count of two and uniform, good. That's good. Now I can uh, select copy this. Control copy, control V, W key, and bring this down to here. And I think I make this um, delete this edge select all these edges, now W, and then I must resize this from here, like so, yes, and I think I delete all these bottom polygons delete, select these bottom edges, uh, yeah, good, and make them flat, W, bring them down a bit, like so, then I want to bridge these bridge and didn't work. So single edge in here, the middle, select it, W key, but action center uh, selection and move this to front. Now we can put a single edge to here and another one to here and manually merge these ver uh, vertices. These two, these two and these two. Good. Now, let's see. I don't want to do this for all the others, so I paint select these polygons here, shift up arrow, uh, also select these here, 
and no, I should have hidden this page to hide. Now let's do it again. Shift 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 up arrow. Invert selection and delete. Now we can go to the top view and duplicate radial array count of six around Y. Oh, that was a problem. Action center origin and click in the viewport and let's see if it has merged. No. Top view again, edge mode. Select these middle edges here so we do not affect other stuff so then we can go to vertex merge fixed 54 yeah this looks right now we can I go to front view and bring out a linear fall off from here to here. This is zero, zero, and then we can. resize it on the green circle wrong way and this must be ease in because I want to have it a little bit round not too much but maybe a bit more like so yes nice good now um, Maybe save this. Select everything here, Z key, right click, R key, and bring this out. And then run the perfect circle, or as you saw this on uh, Mesh Edit, no, Deform Radio, it's the same. And Z key, R key, and bring this out a bit more, W, Z again, bring it down and drop the tool, and now we can B for bevel this with uh, the square shape and put in an other edge in here like, like so then I can select these polygons up arrow key the one next to it up arrow key then B for bevel bevel this in a little then shift X to bring it down straight bevel would bring it down along the normals which we don't want then R key make it flat go a bit closer to here W key and bring it down so we have a tiny little gap in between then we can add a single edge in here select this one and this one up arrow key alt c count of two and symmetry click in here 
and this is going to be where the screws come. Okay, and I think I add one more edge in here to make the bottom really tight. Okay, good. New for long height, and then I can bring up this middle piece, W, and bridge these. Oh, then select this edges, W again. Select these ones, Alt C, count of two, and uniform, Alt three to convert to polygons and R key on the green circle, bring them out to make it roundish, and select these edges and these ones, and bevel them with the square shape to make this sharp. And how does it look? Yeah, that looks like a fire hydrant, my fire hydrant. Okay, now let's do the same here on the top. I need a linear fall off, linear, and bring it out from here to here this must be zero 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 and then R key and on the green circle bring this in with ease out to about here and let me see I think I make it a bit shorter so it's not so pointy so W key with the fall of still active bring this down yes that's exactly what I wanted to see now I can select these edges here, Z key, up arrow, and P for polygon, maybe, mm, no, no, add a single edge in here, 3, L, B for bevel, bevel this out to here, then I select this polygon spiky and now we can use the main key here so select these shift up arrow to here control copy control v w select these edges Z key and P for polygon and then I go and select this polygon back to the top and go to the mesh edit tag tool uh, activate snapping first and then we can put this And then we can put this to here. Okay, now let's delete what we don't need. All these polygons up here were only temporary ones. Perspective, then this row is not needed. L, delete, and bridge these and bring this one down a bit maybe and turn off snapping mm. let's see i bring this down all together 
W select this edge and this one up arrow key L B for bevel let's see what we get I don't want these ones yes that's better good now top view the only thing which is left now we can delete that are the screws now there is one other thing on top here we have uh, a flange or however this is called if I add an edge in here and then other one in here L key B for bevel perspective bevel this out quite a bit and harden these edges two three four L B and let's see or C count of one B for bevel and with the round shape a count of three take the middle polygons or is it an edge it's an edge L perspective B for bevel bevel it in a little oh it's <laughs> Alt C, put the single edge in here, Alt C, and then bevel it and with a round level of 2 and select this middle one and R key and on the green circle pull it in, not so much, like so. Good. Now, top view, the only thing which is left are the screws. So I select these polygons, align work plane to selection, A key, and then basic and take a circle, a cylinder with six sides, bring this out to about here select it perspective then I can alt 2 B for bevel with uh, the square shape uh, reset the work plane then we can select this one control copy control V W key bring it up to here R key W this must be higher bit like so perspective and we need to make it smaller or the other variant would be L shift up arrow and R key 
and bring this out. Now we can select the screws. And top view go to duplicate, radio array, six around Y, action center, origin, click in the viewport and our hydrant is done. Maybe we have to adjust some proportions. Maybe this one can come down a bit altogether. W like so and anything else no the rest is okay so that's it maybe we have a look here our fantasy hydrant is finished Thanks for watching. I hope you find this useful. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.